Hello, my name is Kyle Pugh with Webucator. During this video, I'll be demonstrating a process of importing a Microsoft Word table into a Microsoft Access table using VBA. This demonstration is based on a blog post provided by Stephen Bias. I'd like to thank Stephen for allowing us to create this video and to share it with you. For the full article, feel free to visit the blog post at the URL provided below. So here I am inside of Microsoft Access and I've got the full project set up here. I've got a table over there on the left called TBL People. I've got a form that I created called FRM Import and I'm going to talk some more about these. These will tie into our project here. Uh, and I've got a Microsoft Word document that's going to act as the table that we're going to import into our Microsoft Access table. It's a simple little table, um, but this is what we're going to use and this will get the point across. Now before we jump into Microsoft Access and take a look at what we have there and take a look at the code, I want to talk a little bit about how we work with Microsoft Word tables and how we can reference the content that's within that table. Now this, this is a simple table open in front of you right now. The very first row in here, it's got headers, right? First name, last name, social security number, phone number, and gender. And then I got three rows down below that. Now, when I reference content within this table, it's much like a Microsoft Excel document. You know, if I were to label these, the first column there would be column number one, and then column number two, and column number three. And same with rows. The first row that I have there would be row number one and then row number two and so on. So if I want to reference something such as a mouse for Mickey, which is in the second, second column, second row, that's essentially how I'd reference it. Hey, find the value that's in the second column in the second row and give me that value. Now why am I describing this? Well when we start getting into Microsoft Access and we get into the code within there, this is how we're going to navigate this table by column and row, essentially an index. So keep that in mind as we jump into the code here in a moment. But this is the table that we're eventually going to import into our Microsoft Access table. So let me go, go ahead and close this, get back into Access here. Now I've created a table called TBL People, and if I give that a double click, uh, you'll see a very similar setup to that Microsoft Word table we saw just a moment ago. I got the headers up there. I've named them a little bit differently, but we got F name, L name, SSN, phone number, and gender. No records in here yet, but that is eventually going to come in from our code from that Microsoft Word table. So I'm going to close this. Let's take a look at my form. If I double click on that. Now the reason why I've created a form here is eventually I need a button to press that will run the code that we're about to dissect here that will import the data into the Microsoft Access table called TBL People. So let's take a look at the code. I'm going to go into the design view of my form and I'm going to select my little button here. I'll get into the property sheet and on the event tab I've already created an event procedure. On click of this button we're going to run some code. So I can see inside there, if I expand that out, I've got an event procedure. I'll give the three little dots over here a click. And this will open up my Visual Basic for Applications window uh, within Access. Uh, and you can see that I've got my form there on the left, form FRM import, and I've got a single private sub procedure uh, for the click event of that button out there. Now there's not, it's not a huge set of code here. Uh, but I've just copied and pasted the code from the blog post by Stephen um, that Stephen supplies. So this is almost verbatim of what, St what Stephen had up on the screen. I made a couple of adjustments just to make it a, a little more readable for you here. Uh, but the first step, first thing that takes place when you click that button, the event runs or the click, click event for the button, is we set up some variables. And these are simple little variables. The first one there sets up a... Uh, instance to Word to the application. Uh, we then set up reference to the Word document, uh, to the database itself, DBS is uh, reference to the active database, and then our record set, which is RST, 
uh, and then the actual name of the document, the Word document that we're going to be hooking up to. So some variables there really to help us out as we start creating the rest of this code here. Now, and Steven's done a great job within, within his code here of commenting the code, all the green text there being the comments. So we've got the first one there. We're making reference to Microsoft Word. So we're creating an object and storing this object of Microsoft Word into this variable called app word. And we're just creating an instance of Word there that we can then access. Uh, we're then getting access to the document itself, the Word document called people.docx. Uh, and the path of this document is in the same path as the database that I'm working in. Uh, we're then setting another object to work with the document to get into Microsoft Word, which is App Word, and to be able to open up that document within Microsoft Word. So once again, just taking advantage of the variables that I created earlier. Uh, now, we're going to make a connection to the database that we're working in. And in our case, it's the current database. Uh, and I want to get into the record set of a specific table called TBL People. Now, the next set of code here, this with to end with, is really where all the magic takes place. And it's a simple little loop that's going to get into the Word document. It's, gonna, it's going to navigate that table, much like I was talking about earlier. Hey, we've got so many, col or so many rows inside of here. Uh, let's go through each of the rows. We go through each of the columns there and grab those values. Now, we're using a for loop, uh, and we're going to be iterating through this value of i. Now, Stephen did something great here. Uh, he started I out as 2, and the reason why is we don't want to grab the very first row of the table uh, because the table contains the headers. Uh, and then we're going to go through the row count, however many rows we have in there. We only had three records, Mickey, Minnie, and Donald. Uh, but now we're going to go through and get those values and assign them to the uh, specific columns back inside the table. So it's a nice big loop there that's just going to iterate through the word table as it's iterating through that table, it's going to grab the values and then assign them to, to the uh, relative columns back inside of my Microsoft Access table. And then the last part here, nothing big. We're now clearing out the uh, various variables that we created earlier, the record set variable. We're closing the database. We're closing the Word document. We're quitting Microsoft Word. Uh, so like I said, it's, it's not a huge script inside of here. Very dynamic, though, able to take on any size table that we have within our Microsoft Word document. It doesn't matter how many records we have there because we're just creating a loop. Now, before I test this out and, and show you, show you it uh, running here, I want to point out that in order for this to work, we do have to add some additional references to our VBA project here inside of Access. In order for us to be able to communicate with other Office applications and to be able to communicate with uh, Microsoft Word specifically. So take a look. If I go up to my Tools menu, and this is actually something you're going to want to do first if you were to write this code from scratch. I go to Tools, to References. Inside the References window, you're going to add uh, three additional references to your, your uh, Microsoft Access uh, VBA project here. You want to make sure that you activate, and it probably this first one's probably already active, but the Microsoft Access Object Library, you want to make sure that that is, is running. You want to be able to get a Microsoft Word Object Library and the Microsoft Office Library as well. Let me see, it doesn't look like I got that one going there. So let me scroll down here, Microsoft Office. Uh, there we go, I'm going to make sure that that one is active as well, Microsoft Office Object Library, and I'll hit OK. Now the reason why those need to be active is because we are communicating with other Microsoft Office applications, in this case Word, and we need all of the goodies that come along with that object. Now, its objects, its properties, its methods, and so on to be able to communicate with that. So let's see this in action. I'm going to go ahead and close my VBA window here. I'll go back into just my form view, and let's give my button a click. This is going to take just a moment. So I click that button. And give it just a moment there to run. I'm going to go ahead and open up the TBL people pay, uh, table. And there's my three records, Minnie, Donald, and Mickey. All those values, everything corresponding to those records, 
from that Microsoft Word document. One button press, and we've got this script that runs that grabs all that data for you. So there you have it, importing Microsoft Word data from a Microsoft Word table into a Microsoft Access table using VBA. Once again, I'd like to thank Steven for allowing us to create this video. For more tips and tricks, feel free to jump out and visit the full site at the URL provided below.